Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Trading Journal. Because everyone talks about Trading Journal and we should know how important this is, right? A Trading Journal allows you to pretty much track your performance and this of course help you to monitor your progress. Uh, this will help you identify patterns as well on your own trading. So, also going to improve your discipline by encouraging your consistency in your trading strategies. Basically, a trading journal will highlight your strengths and as well weakness. A, tra a trading journal will provide valuable insights into areas where you're succeeding and where there is room for improvement. Also, we will enhance the decision making by giving you data driving insights for future trades. And this is exactly what I've always been talking, okay? When you have data on your side as you know a trading journal, you can look at it and say, look, this was the data that was before the, the data, the, the trading that I entered the trade and I was feeling on this way. So how and what should you include in your trading journal? This is the second question. Well, let's just start with the basics. We don't have to go all the way, oh my God, right? Let's go for trade entry, entry price, exit price, um, include the dates, of course, the time frame, the price, the, the trade size, and, that, and of course, don't forget to document the rationale for each trade, why you entered, why you exit at particular point, all right? So don't forget as well to note the market conditions such as relevant trends, news, or data points, or anything, any event that will influence your trading decision. Um, and most important, record your emotional state during each trade, okay? So this can reveal a lot about your mindset affecting your performance. Yeah, so the first time when I started using a trading journal, it was very hard only one thing was very hard, okay? I had all the, the Google um, um, spreadsheet, I had Excel, I had everything so beautiful. But honesty wasn't there. And most importantly, I weren't updated on every trade I took. So when I put in a perspective now, looking back in those days, um, I would have much more real data for me to actually look at this data and think, okay, and analyze, sorry, look at this data and analyze, uh, this is actually what happened um, and this is how I reacted. Um, so my, my biggest mistake was not being honest with myself and trying to just fill, it the, fill that book quick as possible so I could read it in the end of the month, but that wasn't without a purpose. So, you know, looking back in the days and looking now, uh, on my trading journal, I just take the trade. I have some, you know, entry point, exit point, take profit, stop loss. How did I enter the trade? What was the reason behind the trade? And uh, what strategy did I use? Because I have two strategies and I go from there. Later on, on the quarterly, I do revise all the trades. Never is too late to starting a trading journal. Never, all right? I've started my one after one year of trading. And that's most, this is the actually the difference that's going to make you be a winner or be a loser, having a trading journal and know how to analyze this. So before I had a trading journal, I always like took trades out of nowhere and now I follow my strategy and I implement all of the entries on my trading journal. And later on, I will watch, I will, sorry, I will read my trading journal again and, and, and look at you know the data I have. But as I say, never is too late. So if you are one year, two years, five years doing already your trading, um, start your trading journal. If you don't have one, start your trading journal. This is, there is a reason why everyone is talking about trading journal and it's not only for purely purpose of talking about trading journal, okay? Uh, there is a reason behind and the reason is it's gonna make you feel better when you have a trade. It's gonna make you feel much more less stressed, okay? Much more less anxious about your trading. So all of these are consequences of having a trading journal and knowing how to analyze this data that you by yourself provide to you in the future. And um, the outcome and analysis now, right? Because when we get all of this data, how we analyze this data? Well, 
After each trade, we have to analyze the outcome first. What went right, what went wrong, and most importantly, summarize the lessons you learn with that trade. Every trade gives you a lesson. Um, so this reflection is key to continue the improvement. I like to say, the stop loss is like your teacher. It's gonna teach you something, right? Uh, same as with the take profit. Don't get too excited over take profit. Don't get too, you know, depressed by stop loss. Try to look at both good ways. You might be wondering, what tools can I use to build my trading journal? Well, there's a bunch and bunch of you know, tools you can go on Google and search it up, but I'm gonna give you some. So um, spreadsheets like Excel, you know, free. Um, Google Sheets, even better. This will offer you customizable um, tracking. And there are also, you know, all the software options that are dedicated to, um, you know, they will have advanced features tailored only to traders, but I don't think you need this for now. And for those who, you know, don't even want to have technology like me, I just use a pen and paper. It's gonna be doing the same job as effective as a um, uh, Google worksheet or any Excel. Now, maintaining a trading journal is just as important as starting the trading journal. You have to be consistent. You have to be updating your journal after every trade. And honesty, all right, honesty is crucial. Accurately record both your successes and your failures. Schedule regular reviews to analyze performance trends like a weekly or a monthly and use those insights to set realistic trading goals based on your data, okay? So what could you learn from this video? I wanna know. Put down in the comments and if I could help you, please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends if you're starting new on the market so you know how to make how to you know start doing your um, trading journal guys thank you so much for um, watching to the end and I see you in the next one bye bye